All right, so picking up where we left off, what we're going to need to do is just a couple small changes, okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need to grab drag gesture, and we're going to take everything through on change. And I'm going to get rid of this let drag equal blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to put that in directly inside of dot gesture, and I'm going to get rid of where it said drag, and I'm going to write drag gesture. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do is I actually want to take the same code, I'm going to copy it, and this one originally was making one for the entire Z stack, okay? But I want to make one for some of the inner items. So each dot needs to have its own drag gesture as well. So I'm going to go here to circle, and right where underneath offset, I'm going to put dot gesture, okay? I'm going to copy it one for one. Now I just need to fix this to say self dot, because we're inside a closure here. Okay, but now we're going to put a couple different changes, all right? So the first thing I need to do is um, we're going to use the on changed a lot. And we're not going to use the on end much at all, actually. So I made these changes in advance so we can look at them together. All right. So, so, so we have a couple different things. We need to create a new function called change location. And this function is going to be responsible. I'm going to go here to get offset. I'm going to make one a function right above it. And this function is going to be responsible for changing the location of the uh, or the actual save location of each new view within the array. So this is permanent changes, okay? And it only gets run when you start a drag. So how does that work exactly? Well, let's look at the let's look at this again. So here are some differences. For the drag gesture now inside of up inside of the updating function, let's look at what we had previously. We had state equals dragging. I think we're gonna end up keeping that, but underneath it we're gonna put self.current drag Sorry, what we haven't set up yet is current drag. So we're going to need to create a new state variable up here. Okay, and we're going to put it underneath gesture state. Okay, and it's state variable current drag, and it's going to be equal to nothing. It's an empty string. Okay, and so what this is saying is every time you start dragging one of these, it's going to start updating and it's going to set the state equal to dot dragging. Okay, but it's also going to set up that the current drag will start tracking the I, or the UUID of the view you're dragging. So that's how it knows which one you clicked on and have started dragging on, okay? So the next thing we need to do is unended is pretty much only one little piece. We're gonna, on, during unended, so when you let go of this, we wanna set current drag, okay? It's gonna be equal to an empty string now, okay? So that allows us to start a drag and the minute we let go, it stops storing, or it removes the UUID of the one you were dragging, okay? So that was the next piece. And then the last thing we need to do here is we need to change the onChanged function, okay? So I'll put the new onChanged function, but I actually realize we don't need this conditional at all. So all we need the onChanged to do is every time this changes, this drag changes, we just need to change the location. And now inside the change location function, it's making sure that we only change the location of the view we're looking for, okay? Because watch what happens if I get rid of that conditional. If I get rid of the conditional and it runs again, if I start dragging one, they're all gonna drag. They actually all follow. Now, if I if I come here, if I drag one, now there's actually three views directly on top of each other. We change all their coordinates equal to where I last was changing. Okay, but what happens now is if I have that conditional there, I can just do this. And now I can drag one at a time. All right, and we're only changing the proper ones. Now I create a million here. Okay, and I can drag them one by one. All right. And that's it. If you have any questions, shoot me a message in the comments below. Thanks.